Good day everybody, this is Dr. Sanjay Sanyal, Professor and Department Chair. This is the first section of the pelvis to show you the branches of the internal iliac artery. First, let me give you a quick overview. So this is the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta. And you can see that this is the left common iliac, this is the right common iliac. This bifurcation is taking place at the level of L4 vertebra. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to trace the common iliac on the left side. And I'm going to show you what are its divisions. Left common iliac. And you can see the left common iliac here. Left common iliac is dividing into an external iliac, which is going under the inguinal ligament, and it is becoming the femoral. Let's get that out of the way. <coughs> this is the internal iliac. As you can see, they're all very big branches. The internal iliac also in turn then divides into an anterior division and a posterior division. So now what we will do is we will trace all the branches of the anterior division on this side, which I have picked it out. So let me get a forcep, pair of forceps from here. So I'm lifting up the anterior division of the internal iliac on the left side. This is the anterior division of the internal iliac. Let's take the first branch and you can see that this is the first branch. This is the umbilical artery. And as I told you in class, the distal part of the umbilical artery becomes known as the, lat the medial umbilical ligament. The proximal part of the umbilical artery gives rise to the superior vesicle artery and you can see some branches of the superior vesicle artery which are all descending into the bladder. So that is the umbilical artery. The second branch of the internal iliac anterior division is this artery here that you see. This is the obturator artery and you can see it is emerging out through the obturator foramen here. And it is accompanied by this vein, this nerve which is the obturator nerve. So this is the obturator artery. The there are many superior vesicle branches from the umbilical artery. Then we have the inferior vesicle arteries. There are again many branches. In the male, we have many inferior vesicle <coughs> arteries, which is direct branches of the internal iliac anterior division, but in the female, we do not have inferior vesicle. Instead, we have the uterine and the vaginal arteries. <coughs> so that's the third set of branches. The fourth set of branches are the middle rectal arteries, which I'm going to show you on the other side. And finally, we have two arteries which are going outside the pelvis and you can see them here. This is the internal pudendal and the inferior gluteal. So you can see all these branches of the anterior division. This is the anterior division of the internal iliac and you can see all the branches in sequence. So I'm going to quickly repeat once more. We have the first branch which is the umbilical artery. Distal part becomes medial umbilical ligament. Proximal portion gives branches superior vesicle. Then we have the inferior vesicle arteries which come directly from the internal iliac. In males, in females, we have the uterus and the uterine and the vaginal arteries. Then we have the obturator artery, which I've shown you here, going through the obturator foramen, accompanied by the obturator <coughs> nerve, L234. Then we have the middle rectal artery going to the rectum above the pelvis, supplying the ample of the rectum. And then we have the internal pudendal artery going outside the pelvis. And we have the inferior gluteal artery. So these are all the branches of the anterior division, and you can see them here. This is the posterior division. So now I'm going to show you the branches of the posterior division on this side. Again, so this is the same. You can see this is the common iliac on the right side. This is the external iliac and this is the internal iliac. And here we can see the internal iliac. This is the anterior division of the internal iliac. But the posterior division has got three important branches and you can see that. Iliolumbar, lateral sacral, superior gluteal. So these are the three branches of the posterior division of the internal iliac. This is the posterior division of the internal iliac. This is the anterior division. I have removed the branches of the anterior division from this side, but I have retained the branches of the posterior division on this side here. Iliolumbar, lateral sacral, superior gluteal. So these are the branches of the... Before I get out of the branches, just to bring you up to speed, this is the inferior mesenteric artery and vein. And we know that this continues down and becomes the superior rectal artery. And this is the cut section of the rectum, which you can see here. That is about this portion of the video to show you the blood vessels. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.